What up, Giants fans? In today's show, we're going to break down the latest Odell Beckham Jr. rumors because Joe Shane was talking about OBJ yesterday. So we're going to break it down and make sure you're subscribed to the channel because if we get any more updates, news, or any info on Odell Beckham Jr., we're going to continue to get you guys videos every single day. And we're trying to get to 18,500 subscribers. Hit that big red button. Lock us in. Giants videos every single day. Welcome in to New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. In today's show, we're talking about OBJ because Joe Shane, he's been talking about OBJ. He talked about him in his media availability following the NFL trade deadline. We did a video on that a couple of days ago. And then yesterday, he hopped on, hopped on the Tiki and Tyranny radio show and he was talking about OBJ and he said some stuff of some significance. So let's go to the quote and see what Joe Shane had to say. He said, we're going to do our due diligence all the time. And he's the guy that we've, you know, we've reached out to his representatives. We're in contact with his representatives. Where, where he is in rehab, what he's projected to be, whether it's four weeks from now or five weeks in terms of his health, when he's going to be available again. He tore that ACL in February. So his timeline, we got to figure out what that is when he's going to be 100% healthy, what he's looking for financially. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Anybody that will upgrade our roster at any position, we're going to pursue those, and he checks that box of a guy that we're going to continue to stay in contact with. We're going to continue to stay in contact with. So they've already been in contact with Odell Beckham Jr. He visited the facility a couple of weeks ago checking on Sterling Shepard after he suffered that ACL tear against the Dallas Cowboys. Joe Shane didn't know he was in the building, but he's been in talks with his representatives. So you're telling me there's a chance. There is a good chance, I think, that Odell Beckham would at least entertain the idea of re-signing with the New York football giants. It makes sense. He wants to play for a contender. Let's be honest, the Giants at 6-2 and two right now, they are a contender in the NFC. There's a chance, and a good chance, I would say, that Odell Beckham Jr. re-signs, or just signs, re-signs probably isn't the right word, just signs with the New York football Giants. But I want to take the pulse of everybody watching right now, because I know some people love OBJ, and I know some people don't love OBJ. So I want to ask the Giants fans right now, and I want you guys to be loud in the comment section. Should the Giants sign OBJ? Type OBJ for yes or no BJ for no. This is what Dan Graziano said about Odo Beckham Jr. on ESPN a couple of weeks ago. He said, if you're waiting around on Odo Beckham, you might have to wait a while longer. Two team executives familiar with the Beckham situation told me last week that the realistic time frame for Beckham to be recovered from his knee injury and available to play is around mid-December and I'm going to be honest this benefits the New York football Giants mid-December is week 15 and why does that benefit the Giants because if you're going to be signing with the team in week 13 week 14 you're not signing for anything more than the veteran minimum and with the Giants having just 2.8 million dollars in cap space that's really the only type of players they can sign is the veteran minimum contracts and that's what I think Odell Beckham Jr. whether it be with the Giants or whoever it may be that's the type of deal Odell's going to sign he's going to sign a one-year veteran minimum deal with some incentives and then he's going to try to hit free agency again in 2023 and try to cash in that's what's going to happen is it with the Giants I don't know but as Joe Shane continues to talk about him and let's be honest why is he being so open about this a couple of thoughts I had was maybe he just wants to Give the fans a little bit of a bone. He knows the fans wanted to trade for a wide receiver, so now he's talking about Odell Beckham. But you rarely hear a GM talk about a player of such a high profile that fans are in love with like Odell, and the fact that you've talked to him and said that you have been in constant communication with his representatives. This is a big deal, guys. I don't want anyone to just brush this off. The fact that Odell and the Giants and Joe Shane, his agent and representatives, have been in talks is a big deal. We're going to keep you guys updated on all of this. I guarantee you that. We'll talk more about OBJ here in a second. But first, I want to tell you about this awesome new sponsor that we have here at the channel. And that is Established 
title. Shout out to established titles. They're a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It is a project based on historic Scottish customs where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies. They're calling me Lord Marsh G. You saw my certificate a second ago. You can get Lord whatever you want on there, and you could put that on your driver's license, your credit card, your plane tickets. It's legit. No Fugazi stuff. And they plant a tree with every order. This could be our trees. See a little bit at the bottom left right there? We could have a whole community of Giants Now Real Ones trees. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking distance. Depending on how many of you want to become a lord or a lady, we can build our little Giants Now kingdom. And the best part is they're hooking you guys up with an awesome discount. When you go to EstablishedTitles.com slash chat, they're going to give you an extra 10% off of the deal that they already have going right now. It's a massive sale. Grab a plot of Scottish land next to me. EstablishedTitles.com slash chat. Odell Beckham Jr. probably isn't the same player that he once was for the New York football giants. Because let's be honest, when he was a part of the G-Men, he was one of the best receivers in the National Football League. But we saw the type of player and playmaker he could be in those final 12 games of last season, including four games in the playoffs. Odell had 48 grabs. He's averaging four catches a game over 12 yards per catch. 593 yards and seven touchdowns. If he didn't get hurt in the Super Bowl where he scored, he would have been the Super Bowl MVP, no doubt about it. We saw how the Los Angeles Rams offense fell off once he got hurt. And we see right now without OBJ that the Los Angeles Rams offense is nowhere close to as explosive as it was last year. If you look at these stats and now you look at this Giants wide receiver depth chart, he would be the best wide receiver on this team by a mile, and I don't mean to talk negatively about these guys because I'm going to continue to root for them and, you know, go out on a limb and root and cheer for Marcus Johnson and Darius Slayton and Wandale Robinson and David Sills and Marcus Johnson. But at the end of the day, these guys have to produce. Richie James has one catch in the past couple of weeks. I like, honestly, what I've seen from Darius Slayton recently. Go back to that Packers game, had a couple big catches against the Ravens, and he looked good. Against the Jags, he had that touchdown. Didn't too much, do too much against the Seahawks. But I like what I've seen from Slayton. I've liked what I've seen in the limited sample size from Wandale Robinson. Just those two guys right now can't be your wide receiver one and your wide receiver two. I'd like to see more of Sills and less of Johnson. For some reason, Johnson is pretty much the leading wide receiver snap getter for the Giants. Dropped two touchdowns in the past couple of weeks. There was a reason he was a practice squad elevation. Maybe Isaiah Hodgins can be a guy that the Giants claimed off of waivers yesterday. We did a video about that as well. Maybe he's a guy that the Giants can use as a big-bodied receiver. He's six foot four. He's a good contested catch guy. Maybe he can find a home with the Giants and try to give a boost to this wide receiver core. We showed you the stats. We showed you the depth chart. And I want all the Giants fans to do what they do. Be honest with me. Be brutally honest because that's what I love about Giants fans. Grade the Giants wide receiver core. Get out your red pen. Be honest with me. A, B, C, D, or F. I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section right now. And make sure get to give me a follow over on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. I will, you are the first place you would have found out about the Odell Beckham rumors was over on my Twitter. I'm going to keep you up to date. The best way and the quickest way to find out is over on my Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. And I'll do this. Everyone that follows me from today's show, I'll give you a follow back. Just DM me OBJ. Give me a follow and DM me OBJ and I'll make sure to give you a follow back. Odell Beckham Jr., the latest reports are that he wouldn't be able to come back till mid-December, and that would be week 15. The Giants, let's break down their schedule and what it looks like the rest of the year so we can kind of understand when he would come back and play for this football team. You're on a bye week this week. You got the Texans in week 10 after the bye. You got to win that football game. Week 11 against the Lions, they're 1-6. You got to win that football game. You got the Cowboys on week 12 on, no, on Thanksgiving that's going to be tough, no doubt about it. Week 13, you got the Commanders. You got to beat them. Week 14, you're going to be playing Philly. Anything can happen in that rivalry. That's going to be a tough game, no doubt about it. But week 15, that's the week that is mid-December that Dan Graziano reported that Odell Beckham would not be ready until then. Could OBJ's first game back with Big Blue be week 15 at 
the Washington Commanders. And look, they're going to need him for this home stretch because it's not easy. Week 16, 17, and 18. 17 is a little bit easier now. Maybe if Jonathan Taylor gets healthy, you know, the Colts can turn it around. They do have Sam Ellinger now under center with Matt Ryan being benched. But week 16 is going to be tough with the Minnesota Vikings. And week 18 is going to be tough against the Eagles. Hopefully the Eagles are resting their starters at that point and the Giants get a much easier game. I, I'm going to say this, and, and you may not agree with this. The Giants need Odell Beckham Jr. They need a playmaker on the outside. They need a guy that puts some fear in the hearts of defensive coordinators and defensive backs. But it's not just the Giants that need OBJ. OBJ needs the Giants. His star shined brightest in New York City. I know he won a Super Bowl with the Rams. But it is not that same high-profile guy. I think no other fan base Loves Odell Beckham more than this Giants team, and for obvious reasons, right? What he did those first five, six, seven years he was with the Giants was truly incredible. Giants love OBJ. OBJ loves the Giants. He's been t teasing people on Twitter, talking to license plate guy, interacting with fans, saying, show me the money, this, that, and the third. He wants to be a Giant. The Giants want OBJ. Just make it happen. When Party A wants what Party B has, and what Party B has what Party A has, more times than not, a deal is going to happen. I'm not going to predict that OBJ signs with the Giants, but I bet if there was a team list of five teams that OBJ would sign with, I bet the Giants would be on there because he loves New York. He knows that's the biggest media capital in the world. He knows he can get a big contract from the Giants next season. And the fact that the Giants are 6-2 and two and are a legit contender in the NFC. It's a perfect landing spot for OBJ. If you want Odell Beckham Jr. back on the Giants, if you want to see number 13 back with the Giants, I want you to like this video right now. I'm not saying the more likes we get on this video, the more likely it is that OBJ signs with the Giants, but I'm not not saying it. So if you want the Giants to sign OBJ, hit that thumbs up icon right now. And also, I appreciate everybody for making New York Giants now a part of their day today. It is the bye week, so we're not going to have a watch party on Sunday. I'll miss you guys. I'm excited. It's going to be an interesting, interesting rest of the season for Big Blue. They control their own destiny, and that's all you should want as a football team. You continue to win games, you're going to end up in the playoffs. It's been a great season, but... That doesn't mean it should stop right now. Let's continue having a great season. And I want to give a shout-out to the real ones. You guys have been showing up and showing out recently. We've gained over 4,000 subscribers in the past month. That's a credit to you guys. Shout-out to you. So if you're a real one, stand up. Be loud in the comment section. I want you to comment real one if you're a real one.